peep this. Negroes are, I said this multiple times. Negroes follow the messenger and not the message. That gets you into trouble. When you follow a messenger, it's like we say Negroes have the Messiah complex. The way they got to have a leader. They got to have somebody to follow. Now, when you deal with that concept and that's how you got to take in information, you will follow somebody that if they say something you agree with, you will follow everything they say. See what I'm saying? Obviously. But on the other hand, if they, if they saying something that you don't agree with, you will discount everything that they saying based on their same principle. That shit is stupid. You got to learn how to decipher information. If a nigga make 10 statements, seven of them is true, three of them false, you got to get your mind working. If you say the black man is God, then you, if you God, you got to be able to break down information. You got to be able to decipher what he's saying so to the point to where you take those seven correct statements and you realize that they're, that they're correct through your own research or whatever and you hold to that and you discount the three false statements. But the way Negroes are, a Negro will take all 10 statements. You see what I'm saying? Or reject all 10 statements because one of, because of one of the three incorrect ones that he heard. You see what I'm saying? So, you got to learn how to break down information. A lot of niggas is in the so-called final call, so-called nation of Islam of today. Now, that was a guy on MySpace. I forget his name. This guy, he had a blog on his MySpace page talking about why it said why call any man the devil any person the devil now honorable lies muhammad taught that the white man was the devil i remember sonetta had a video he was talking to malika muhammad now y'all can see that video on his page he asked her, is the white man the devil now she's in the nation of islam under a so-called Minister Farrakhan. Now, she was like, sometimes there's black people who do bad. Look, tell y'all this right now. All y'all niggas that's, in, that's under Farrakhan, you better listen to this shit. You better take this as a warning right now. Answer to that question. Question, is the white man the devil? Answer, hell yes, by nature. And all white people are the devil by nature. You understand that? They are the recessive. What is the, the, according to the teacher, what is the reason for creating a white man? Because you, you always have positive and negative. You got left and right opposites, up and down, positive charge, negative charge, proton, electron, a good and evil, righteous, you know, you see what I'm saying? So you got the negative. Now, within the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said that the black man has the devil within him. Same way you got the recessive gene in you. But the white man does not have the dominant gene. He ain't got the righteousness in it. Now, the teaching was, reason white man was created is to physically manifest the negative nature. Now, you can battle negative thoughts inside your mind but you can suppress that and just ignore it for a while, not, not deal with it. But when you take that and you graft out the 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 uh the weak man or the the pale melanin depleted, when you graft it out into a man who only has those traits because he's only got the recessive genes, now he's in a he's outside of you. You can't suppress it now. 
he's outside of you. He can walk. He got two legs. He can walk around. He can he can come and approach you and do stuff. You now you got to see that negative nature. Now you got to deal with it. And that's the that was the point. That was the teaching of why the white man is created. Now white man is the devil by nature. Plain and simple. That's it. These Farrakhan niggas, y'all better stop listening to that nigga. I'm just tell you how it is right there. You better stop listening to that nigga because he gonna get you fucked up. He telling you the wrong shit. He take you down. The wrong road. Because he talking about, I see this nigga with white folks sitting in there in his service. I seen him at a, a white man's church talking about, I don't hate him. That's my brother. I done seen this motherfucker on, t- on TV. My granddad was watching this nigga talking about, uh, uh, this nigga going to say, you can't uh, judge nobody by the color of their skin and, and, you know, can't reject them because.